Today's topic is a difficult topic, one that gives everybody stress, but I'm going to do it. Today's topic is the difference between in and at in regards to places. Let's get into it. Um, we use the word in uh, to refer to parts of one's house. So, for instance, you might say um, in the living room, in the bathroom, uh, in the yard. Now, the yard is outside, but it's considered part of your house. So, we say in the yard. Uh, we also use in for cities, towns, and villages. So, myself, I'm shooting this from Toronto. I am in Toronto right now. Toronto, I'm in Toronto. Or you could say uh, in New York, right? Or in Paris, right? Anytime you have a city or a village, whatever, you can use in. Uh, you also use it for countries. Um, in Canada, that's where I am. In Italy. So that's when we use in. We use at um, for um, physical locations. You know, um, I'm at the bank. Uh, I'm at the supermarket. I'm at home. Right. So for physical locations. We also use at for buildings. Um, you know, um, at the Empire State Building, at the White House, at the Statue of Liberty. Right? At. Now, of course, this is English, and there are many exceptions. That's that's why I make these videos, and I'm so busy. Um, so we use uh, the word in. <laughs> this is. Right. In regards to physical locations, when we discuss the activity associated with them, so for example, if you're in prison, you're there as a prisoner doing time. You're in the activity of being a prisoner. But if you're at prison, well, you're just visiting. Right? If you're in the hospital, you're sick. Or you're getting an operation or something. But if you're if you work at a hospital or you're visiting someone at a hospital, it's at the hospital, right? So, you know, you have to watch out for that, for the activities aspect of some places. Usually places associated with duty and obligation. I have a video about that. You can click on the link there, okay? You could use at uh, whether you're inside or not. Right? Let's meet. Where? Let's meet at the library. It could be inside, it could be outside, it doesn't matter. Some people, they want to specify, well, what if I really, 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 really want to specify? And that's fine. But usually, uh, um, it, it, you'll say, let's meet at the library, where? In the lobby. But if you really want to emphasize it, you're going to need a good reason to do so. Oh, let's let's go let's go inside. Let's go in the library. It's warm there. So, in such cases, when you really need to specify it, you you should use in. Ah, oh, it's really hot. It's really hot out out here. Let let's go in that coffee shop there. Let's go in there. Then you would use in, even though it's for a physical location. So I hope that clears that up. Um, please feel free to comment below. Feel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, for written exercises based on my video lessons, check out greenscreenenglish.com. Late.